Okay, y'all, so I got a neighbor that keep parking in front of my driveway where I can't get out. So I put my vehicle in the front and I got one in back. And I got a sign on it that says, can we please compromise? So I'm gonna go in the house and let them knock on the door and have to ask me like I have to do them. <laughs> if you're gonna be mad, go ahead and call the police. I'm trying to be a good neighbor. No, it ain't. All I do is ask y'all. I, I talk to the law. None of us own the street. Y'all can park any. What I'm saying is. You ain't even got to. Well, I talk to you. It's, um, you know, we can make a lot of money off of this with the little joke there. This, this should be happy. We good neighbors. I ain't got no problem with y'all. I just be needing to get out and be able to get in. I cannot pull out. He right here in front. I can't get out. If he parked right there, I can't get out because I can't make the turn. When I get ready to pull back in, I can't get in. Every time you tell me to move my car, I just move it. Why do you call me? You know, I, I don't want to be bothering y'all. That's like just extra stuff on me to have to get permission to move my vehicle to go. I mean, I mean you could park in my yard <laughs> if you want to. I man, have it all day. I, I won't have no problem. I just need to get in and out. When I have events and all that, this is, only, this is my main source of income. This is what I did. Okay, y'all, so it didn't turn out so well. My neighbor's been blocking me in my driveway and I've been asking very politely not to just block that area. I don't own the street, the city on the street, so I know I can't make nobody move. I wasn't trying to. I thought we was cool. I thought we was good neighbors. And so I asked. And so I run a business and stuff and I need to get my trailer out. And so I get blocked in where I can't turn. The streets is kind of small and stuff right here. And this is where they park it directly in front of the driveway. They got that space over there. And now they finally moved over there after the police being called. I called the police finally because they didn't find that to be funny when I blocked them in. I put one of my vehicles in the back of theirs and put one in the front. And I went back in the house so they can knock on my door like they tell me to do all the time to get permission to move because I got to get permission just to move to go to work. Um, I didn't think it was going to be that serious. But it turned out to be serious. She was very mean and very rude and loud. And it ain't even her car. It's her boyfriend car, you know. And so I was just talking to him. You know, he was cool, laid back. And I just don't understand. I thought we was good neighbors and we got along. So the video will be out on YouTube as well. So y'all can have an update of this story. But I'm going to post signs all over the city of LaGrange everywhere. Just put picket signs and wherever I can post them at letting people know that I got neighbors like that. So, yeah. So I even purchased this dolly right here and I showed her that I purchased this dolly so I could even avoid this and still got my head chewed off. I'm trying to reason and I guess you just can't reason with somebody that's angry. So I'm gonna end this here. So here's gonna be the text messages. All right, these are the text messages. Of course, me posting this stuff, I'm going to be the bad guy. Somebody going to tell me that don't add my overreacting. But this has been going on for over a year, and I'm just being nice, and I'm tired. Like and subscribe. However, it's going to be public records anyway since the police is involved. So that's what it is. Good day, y'all. Be on the lookout for the music video and songs. I'm doing one.